assalamu alaikum uh, this is the second part of the tutorial in which we are going to solve the question related to the inductance of the three phase transmission line so we have uh, two examples the first one is the one in which we have uh, uh, the conductors placed on the vertices of the equilateral triangle and the in the second one we have uh, the different uh, distances between the three phases so it is uh, an unsymmetrical distribution of the phases and this one is the symmetric distribution of uh, the phases so in the first example we know that uh, the conductor diameter is 1.24 centimeters so this is same for all the three phases and they are placed at uh, the vertices or corner of the uh, electric uh, equilateral triangle and uh, the distance between the uh, between the vertices of the triangle is 2 meter so if I have to draw it so these are your three phases I will say this is a this is B and this is C and the distance between all the phases is 2 meter now what we have to do we have to calculate the inductance per kilometer of three phase transmission line so the formula for the inductance in case of equilateral spacing is 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 ln d over d s henry per meter so this d is actually the distance between the phases which is actually 2 in this case and d s is radius into e raised to minus 1 by 4 this e raised to minus 1 by 4 is point double seven double eight, and the radius of the conductor can be found out by using the diameter so diameter is 1.24 centimeter so it will be d by 2 e raised to minus 1 by 4 and 1.24 into 10 raised to minus 2 divided by 2 into point double seven double eight. so ds will be equal to 4.83 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter so you could you will put this ds value in this equation a and we already know the value of d which is equal to 2 so the inductance of phase A will be 1.205 into 10 raised to minus 6 Henry per phase per meter because all the values are in meter so we will get per meter now it to get the values in per kilometer you have to multiply it by 1000 right so LA is equal to 1.205 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 1000 1 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 3 henry per phase per kilometer so this is uh, the inductance value for the transmission line which has equilateral spacing between the phases now in the second question we have three phase line again we have to find the inductance per kilometer but now they are arranged at the corners of the triangle whose sides are 2 meter 2.5 meter and 4.5 meter in length and the diameter of the conductor is same 1.24 centimeter and we are assuming that the lines are regularly transposed so it is a transposed line again we will draw the triangle distance is 2.5 meter 4.5 meter and this is 2 meter so I will say 1 2 and 3 these are the three conductors again we will use a formula of inductance that is 10 raised to minus 7 ln d equivalent over d s and we know that d equivalent is actually equal to under root d 1 2 d 2 3 and d 3 1 for this case right and d s again if you have to find the d s d s will remain same d s is equal to 4.83 into 10 raised to minus 3 this will be calculated from the diameter of the conductor this is the diameter so the radius will be 1.24 divided by 2 into point double seven double eight. this value is e raised to minus 1 by 4 so we always use the fictitious radius in case of inductances so ds value is 4.83 into 10 raised to minus 3 for d equivalent value we know that d12 d23 and d31 values so these are 2 meter 2.5 meter and 4.5 meter so if we will put these values in this equation the equivalent will be 2.82 meter 
and to calculate the inductance value we will put the equivalent value here and ds value here so the inductance value will come out to be 1.27 into 10 raised to minus 6 henry per phase per meter and we will multiply it with 1000 to convert it into per kilometer so this is the inductance value if we have a transposed line and the the phases are not equally spaced thank you